Hello everyone, welcome back to Fatima and Ola Fashion Workshop. Today we are on our uh, workspace um, handling a very interesting project that we all wanted to share with you. So we are making a sit cushion for a huge sofa. There's two of these um, beautiful cushions that we're going to have to finish today and we would like to show you the process step by step. As you can see I have the foam in here that we're going to start working with and we already have the exact measurements. We also pre-cut and prepared the pieces of fabric that we're going to use for this project. Also the um, zipper with the two zipper heads that we already put in there and we're going to show you details and I have the piping and all the materials and we're ready to go. Here we are now measuring the insert to about 34 inches by 27. We're going to go ahead and measure the top. Also this way is just 6 inches. You already knew this measurement. Just make sure you know before you cut. So here's the fabric, the top and the bottom piece that we already pre-cut. Just place it one more time on top of the insert to make sure that it will fit and it won't be even bigger or smaller because it has to be the exact same measurement in order to fit. I see that it's a little bigger so now we're just marking the area where the seam will go. So we're going to go ahead and write and seam and stitch right on that seam, right on that line, just following that line. And we do this on all corners when we see that we have a little extra. So you obviously want to cut a little bigger just to make sure that it would fit and you'll have the seam allowance. So just um, marking it all the way through with a disappearing purple marker and we know that our stitches are going to go right in there. We do the same thing on the other sides too. Now we have here the fabric that we cut for the sides. Make sure that when you cut the, the back of one side, it's going to be open because we're going to place a zipper. Here's our zipper. Uh, we usually get the zipper by yard because it's so much easier to work on uh, big projects. And what we do is we uh, put two zipper heads in there. There's, there's a reason for that. The first one is to make it a lot more practical when you have it on the sofa by having two zipper head you can easily open one and the other to create like more space so you can um, take it off the cover and put it back as you wish to wash it or not uh, or for any other purpose and also we put two just because in case one breaks you could use the other just by one and it will still work so you don't have to replace the zipper or spend extra money and just have it last longer. This is a side fabric that's gonna go right in there. And we cut two ones so they uh, so we'll be able to have the zipper right in the middle there. And as you can see, this goes on the sides too, all the way around. You could cut one piece that goes all the way around or one for each and every corner. I would recommend one piece that goes all around so you don't see those extra seams because they don't always look that perfect. Alright, here we are. 
Working with the zipper first, we just um, changed the regular zipper to this uh, zipper foot because this is so important. It just makes it so much easier to sew. And we are just putting together the back piece of one side of the cushion, which is the one that gets the zipper. See how we just stitch closely right on the edge after we put the zipper on the other side. Trying to bring those um, two edges here together so when you have this on it just won't really show that there's a zipper in there because that's the that's the idea so it looks nice and clean and perfect even though the zipper is on the back and most of the cases it doesn't show but if you want to have like a good quality job you definitely have to um make sure that this covers somehow the zipper not not overlapping but just you know as long as you don't see the zipper there. So that's what we're trying to do here. It's a very special, so I'm just trying to show you details, very special um, kind of stitch that we create there. See how the fabric is like nice and flat here? And then we'll just create this. Here comes the most important part. Now we are sewing the piping. So after we prepared the piping, like we covered the cable cord with fabric, uh, now we're going to stitch it. One thing to keep in mind is always stitch the piping on the right side of the fabric. Every other process mostly goes on the wrong side. This goes on the very right side of the fabric. So when you fold it, it looks great. So using the appropriate foot, we just go right on the very edge, uh, trying to follow those lines of the machines as a guide. So you go straight, make sure that do like a nice stitch in there. We're gonna go all around, all around the bottom and the top part of the cushion. And now we come to the edge. So what we're gonna do here is just a little pinch. We're gonna cut the fabric there in order to give it a little movement so it goes nice and smooth on the corner to have like a round, nice corner there. Make sure you don't stop it. Just try to slowly move the fabric on the other side. The needle is there so it won't move, but just try to raise the foot, but keep the needle there so you can nicely turn it around and then go ahead and stitch it. Here we have that nice rounded corner. Just gonna go on all four sides of this cushion bottom and also the cushion top. And then what we're gonna do is put together the top and the bottom um, with all the side fabric. There we go. So the reason why we do it on the right side of it is that when you flip it like this, you see a nice decorative piping, which is so important. After you put the insert and you put it all together, if the piping is not right, the cushion would look crooked, would look not uneven so you just have to make sure that um, you take your time with this specific part of the process because piping is so very important now the cushion is ready Looking great. Sharp. Thank you for watching.